हरे कृष्ण एवरी वन वेलकम टू सोल प्लेस डेवलप द हैबिट ऑफ बींग प्लेजेंट आई डू नॉट मीन दैट यू शुड स्माइल ऑलवेज लाइक अ चशाया कैट सच अ स्माइल मीन्स नथिंग इट इज शैलो बट अ स्माइल दैट रजिस्टर्स डीप इन द हार्ट एंड एक्सप्रेस इट सेल्फ इन द फेस इज मार्वलेस इट कम्स फ्रॉम बींग सिंसियर समटाइम्स दोज हु आर मच इन द पब्लिक स्माइल इन अ लाइफलेस प्रैक्टिस्ड वे while inside they are thinking of something else there is nothing inside to make their smile real but the smile that reflects from the soul is very attractive few people can resist an individual with such a sincere smile there are some persons who are chronic sorpasses and many are hard boiled rigid in their reactions towards others how to get along with such persons first make sure that no matter what the provocation nobody will be able to get you mad that is one of the primary steps in learning how to get along with others no matter what happens let no one get your goat it is difficult for those who have no self control but it is the easiest thing to do if you make up your mind do not boast that you never get angry just practice it to the best of your ability If you proclaim it people have a tendency to take advantage of you and do not be outwardly docile while seething dangerously inside under no circumstances let anyone make you angry enough to do something that you will rue later on most people who lose their temper regret afterward what they have done a firm with conviction i have perfect possession of my emotions persons who do not have their emotions under control are their own worst enemies every unfulfilled desire rouses their ire when anyone can make you mad it is because some desire within you has been contradicted otherwise no one could make you angry in your efforts to get along with others do not be a doormat or everyone will want to run your life for you If they cannot dominate you they get angry and if you listen to them and do their bidding you become spineless then how are you to behave when you find resistance to your idols the best way is to just remain quiet but firm say nothing do not get angry verbal punch after punch you may get but do not permit it to provoke you refuse to quarrel eventually those persons will understand that you do not mean to anger them but at the same time you have your own good reasons for not wanting to do what they request of you when people lose their tempers get away from them until they are calmer if you can get together and talk out your problems it is wonderful communication is vital but if anyone just wants to fight simply say i am going to take a little walk then return and be prepared to discuss but if the person still wants to fight go out again and take a longer walk refuse to fight no one can quarrel with you if you can not cooperate never supply more fuel to anyone's anger the angry person is satisfied only if he can make you angry too i can work with anyone though i don't care to be with those who don't know how to live in harmony when someone has made up his mind to win a point let him have the victory it is a hollow victory don't argue great men seldom argue they smile and say i don't think so but they don't fight learn to use tact with people that does not mean you should be a hypocrite it means consideration of others you are not a stone you are a thinking conscious being and you do not want to treat others as though they were unfeeling stones do not openly resist the desires of others the person who always busies himself with the affairs of others is both a cause and an object of difficulties if a person can take it and if it will do some good then speak out but sometimes the recipient does not like it and will definitely do exactly what you don't want him to do when you can get along with others you are like a fragrant flower as you pass by a garden sometimes you smell the fragrance of roses or orange blossoms and you think oh how sweet they are that is how great souls are when you come into their company the perfume of their lives touches you 
it is a fragrance that uplifts your soul but when you are around a foul odor you do not like to remain there when someone has a malodorous temperament of anger and quarrelsomeness you don't want to be around that person those who are always in harmonious are of that type they are like human skunks executing an obnoxious order in a religious organization two classes of people are clearly distinguishable those who are trying to change themselves for the better and those who are quarrelsome and start trouble by trying to change everybody but themselves the latter seems to take pleasure in trying to make others uncomfortable i remember in the early days in boston we were planning a banquet two middle aged ladies were real crackerjacks in gossiping unsuspectingly i had given them charge of the banquet but someone said to me beware of these two they have caused much trouble for other teachers that put me on guard to watch their behavior as banquet arrangements proceeded my secretary put place cards on the head table designating certain persons to sit there these two ladies started fireworks why should these persons be on the platform and not us one day these two ladies started disrupting organizational plans of the center their intention was to be the leader of the work in boston so i called them aside do you accept me as your spiritual teacher they said yes i said will you listen to me they said absolutely they thought i was going to place them in position of importance after a little while i saw them separately and i told each of them what i described as a secret and asked them to promise they would not divulge the information they agreed after a few days each one had secretly told many others what i had told her when they realized what was happening a feud broke out between the two of them i then distanced myself from them but they sought me out i was in the boston plaza hotel they called me on the phone and wanted to see and talk with me i said i will see you provided you speak very calmly the minute you raise your voices i will leave when i came down to the lobby they were trying hard to control themselves they said what is the idea of telling the secret to each of us i answered to show you that you cannot be trusted that you are disloyal and that you love to fight and to gossip by this means i have convinced you about your wrong behavior i told you something that was of no importance just to see if you were capable of keeping a confidence or if you would give in to your habit of stirring up trouble with your gossiping the fault did not lie in the teachers who have come to this town and whom you have criticized so freely the fault is in your own natures i asked one thing of you and you could not keep your word do you realize how your reputation makes you disliked in the city now the trouble you give to others has come back to hurt only you if you cannot keep one promise of confidence given to your spiritual teacher how can you expect others to have confidence in you if you don't keep faith with me you won't keep faith with anybody else are you truly at peace and happy within your own souls i was sincere with them but i gave them that day a very honest and earnest appraisal of their behavior after doing so i said now i'm not going to shut you out of my classes but you must promise me that you will not talk against anyone during the class series do not think of yourselves as teacher as long as there is a prideful desire to teach you are not qualified to teach first you yourself must live it if you do that others will follow your example and do you know that hour after hour they attended the classes and didn't once disturb anyone they were the meekest of students you see i got along with them all right because i did not get angry i used tact to bring them to the sudden realization of their mental weaknesses but getting along with others cannot be done only by tact it also requires example calmness evenness of mind sincerity joy doing everything in an honorable way not clinging to pride and egotism and not governing your actions by what everybody else does but doing those things that please god find your peace by meditating regularly and deeply and you will be surprised to see how your relationships with others improve 
also develop your power of usefulness that is love think about that learn to be serviceful to others useful with positive thoughts useful with your speech useful with constructive suggestions but do not give advice where it is not wanted if your suggestions are unwelcome have the control to remain silent and when sometimes you do good to others and then can no longer help them in a material way if they become inimical because they continue to expect from you never mind go on doing what is right do the best you can and forget it please like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon hari krishna